Hey team, and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Carrier Command 2. It's been a hot second since we've played this, but we are brought back because the first really big title update officially has uh, has dropped. I've stayed up all night to check this out. I've been uh, keeping an eye on it. I've been hankering to check this game out. So what's changed? Well, two big things of note, but there's a whole lot in there. But the two really big ones, well, plus mod support. I'll mention that because I'll forget. I don't really do mods, but it's there for those that care. Um, the main updates are they've overhauled the barge system. They've pretty much removed the whole system and, and uh, swapped it in from what I've read, uh, something along the lines of a waypointing system, much like your AI dudes that you normally control anyway. So there's something to be said about a developer that's willing to pull a system out if it's not working and replace the entire thing from scratch based on feedback. I suppose it probably should have you know shipped properly in the first place, but I, uh, I've come to terms with the fact that the way QA works these days has changed and we give people a pass and that sort of stuff. But at the very least, like I said, bravo to the devs for uh, for recognising the uh, overwhelming feedback. I didn't mind the barge system terribly, but it is a bit slow and sort of a bit tedious. So uh, let's see if it's fixed. The other big change is... Um, uh, mouse flight controls for aeroplanes which is great because it, it was so unwieldy and just awful to steer them that you'd make the AI do all the driving so maybe now it'll be a bit more usable so they're the two main ones that I picked up in the patch notes you can go and check that out yourself but that's significant also it's worth noting because it has been a while since we've played it apparently they've overhauled the AI a fair bit as well. There was a lot of, you know, landing on the deck, a lot of problems, planes crashing because they got, you know, they had a brain fart, loitering and that sort of stuff, getting clipped on terrain. Um, so hopefully this is a sign of great things. Anyway, any excuse to have a look at this? Um, some people might be seeing this for the first time. It's a fantastic little game. It's got its flaws, no denying that. But, um, but she goes great. I, I like her a bit. Okay, let's just take the defaults here. 64, 111. One, one. Cool. And we'll get that to boot up. Yeah, it's a great single player game. I'll just have a quick sip. Um, multiplayer conceptually, it's a cool idea. But because this game is sort of trying to harness a long form, not quite 4X, but like approaching a long end strategy, you know, the sort that you. Um, let's deploy a carrier, shall we? The, the sort that you would play as a uh, single-player game. You know, pause, come back to it two days later, you go do your job and be a responsible adult. So th it's hard to sort of get the multiplayer game going here. But still, it's worth noting that it's there. All right, so we'll turn the master on, which is cool. And here we go. What's going on here? There's the baddie, there's us. So essentially, you have to control this carrier, though. It has this sort of cutesy art style and minimalistic looking buttons. Uh, in execution, it's actually pretty intense. Let's see, the barge system. Well, we, oh, we do have a barge, actually. ID3. Okay, cool. So the first thing we want to do is figure out where we're going to attack. Fuel's not a bad idea. Air chassis. More barges, small munitions. Honestly, it's probably going to come down between fuel and the chassis. The air chassis. Oh, wow. Actually, those were mantas. Ooh, that's exciting. All right, well, let's have a look here. It is still ones and ones. Okay, cool. We'll go due east and we'll go get the air chassis set up. All right, so we'll start steering about. I'm autopiloting a bit, even though I'm probably a little bit rusty. Oof. It's good to be back, you know? So, um, feel free to pop any questions in the comments section. There's a good chance... Well, look, I don't want to make assumptions, right? But there's a good chance that this uh, could turn into a bit of a longer series because it did pretty well last time on the channel. Um, what we might do is ocean current, I like. I also like ocean depth. Yeah, that's handy. That's handy. Okay, so we're going, going into pretty pretty cool winds. And here you can sort of see our destination there. Now, let's take stock of the initial loadout. What do we got? Okay, two helos, 
and two albatrosses. Um, we will put an albatross up, dangerous as that is. Some min maxes insist on it. I insist on not making assumptions in this game. And the real problem with uh, sending albatrosses, even near two star, is that they quite often have AA. Um, and albatross doesn't have any countermeasure capacity. Put that to 2,000. All right. That we will... We'll set a, a doodaki. You can see that's draining our power because the lift's getting used. In fact, you could hear the motor part right back then, so that's cool. Lift is probably lifting the uh, vehicle up as we speak. Didn't really, it's not already on deck, is it? No. Oh, there you go, there's the elevator going now. We might have to think about. Well, the bloody ship's turned quite a bit. Might want to try and keep her steady. The flight ops. Here she comes now. So we'll put her up as observation. Oh, I don't like how much we're spearing in like this. Oh, please don't hit the wave. Please don't hit the wave. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, go AI. Bloody. Bloody killing it. Nice. Well, plane's not dead yet, so that's good. That's really good. Let's jump on and see what we can make of that uh, flight control, actually. Uh, if I go manual, hey, look at this! Look at that! And roll. Oh my god! All right, we'll stop fiddling with it, and I'll let it go back to its waypoints. That's infinitely better already. So I'm, I'm a happy little Vegemite about that. All right, cool. So we're starting to come into. Uh, I wouldn't say the shallows, but we're coming up on this. destination oh man it's good to be playing this again holy heck all right now he's going over so we could probably get some mobs going jump on the gimbal Alright, so we've got some light frames out there. Jeez, they do they seem kind of easier to see to be honest. Alright, that'll do because I don't want to crash the ship. Though we are coming up against some serious currents here. There we go. So ultimately. I'm not going to tutorialize too hard on this, but what we're going to need to do is get landfall here, right? So we've got this little sort of key in close. Quite a bit of bad guys that we have to deal with. Oh, they have also rebalanced the economy so you don't rely on killing dudes for money so much, which is good because that was crap. Um, I didn't like that at all. Okay, so this is interesting because we've got a strong current there, but... If we come in on the northwestly, 
it should be a pretty straightforward, it should be a pretty easy walk for my, uh, for my landing craft, right? That's a bit, that's a bit better, a bit of all right. Hmm. All right, what we might do is uh, just hang here. Can I just go uh, maintain heading? It's not gonna help too much. Let's see, I mean, has this thing got like a, it should have a cannon automatically, right? Yeah, there we go. Maybe we can do some strafes with this thing. Missile. Cannon. Yeah, okay, this is cool. Alright, so this might take a little while to get my head around. Now, hopefully that'll go back to its waypoints now. Looks like it. Looks like it. Oh, well, this is a great opportunity to test out some more stuff. Here we go, let's get some helos in play. Yes. Nice. All right. Well, you know, we know the drills. Let's call all the gats going. So now we have remote fire control from the gimbal camera. Oh, that looks kind of perfect. Let's rotate through. We'll get the carrier, uh, carrier gun. Calling fire support now. Oh, support complete. Here it goes. If I don't clip my camera out. Boots, boots, boots. See you later, son. Yeah, nice. The rest are sort of dispersed a little bit. Here we go. We've got. That's my albatross. Here's my razor bill. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, we're doing some cool stuff with this. Right, and if I wanted to bail, now that he's out of ammo, I could just say, go land. And I'll go, go to you.
Nice. Back you go. Oh, look at this blob here. Oh, ho, ho. That was significant. Jeez, there's a few of them, isn't there? The shallows are still a bit of a problem, eh? It's a bit frustrating. Uh, let's try the missile. Two thousand meters. I guess it depends. They're behind that bluff. That could be a problem. Where's it coming in from? That's the thing that's not clear. Oh, we're going to hit now. I got a couple of them. How do we go with, with the helos? Looks like they're landing to rearm. Nice. What was that beep noise? Hey, is that a helo? That's not mine. No. No, we're okay. Alright, so there's just a couple of these stragglers left. Which we could probably hit with the carrier gun. I mean... If I could strafe them. No, it's not really working. Oh, hang on a sec. Can I still control the, uh... Oh, right. Hey, okay, that's the thing, because you usually have to switch back and forth between... between seats, but it seems I can sit in the seat. Woo! That's cool. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, well. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. And then we can, uh, that's right, we can direct strafes from the point, right? We can go like that, we can go gun. So if you do that, I don't know if it'll hit the altitude quick enough. And you know what, we could probably even sit in the, uh, we could just probably sit here and watch it do its own thing on autopilot. Though I've, I've given it a pretty rough, like it's, tr well, look, it's at 900. It's trying to gain altitude, is what's going on here. Which is fair. Um, shit, let's put it, let's just put it. What is that sound? I heard a beepy. 
Eagle destroyed? Hmm. As long as I'm safe. We'll just put a low level albatross in to do strafes, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's cool. This is, uh, things are, things are going well. Can I see your altitude at a glance? I can't. That's interesting. So he's just trying to gain altitude at the moment. And then if you zoom in here, you can have a look at the battle and all that that's going on. My dude just twirling and twirling upwards and ever upwards. So I'd have to check, but um, well, he's starting to run low on fuel, is he? But uh, the the ground battles were less than desirable. All things being even, uh, let's let's just bring them bring him back, and we'll strafe out the last of, of the dudes. We'll see how effective the strafing runs are, just because. Um, Here he goes. Just because the 160 mil or whatever it is on the on the ship, you you do run out of ammo. You have to you know stay on top of all your logistics. If I just tell you to strafe like that, what happens there? Are you crashing right now, Albatross? Jesus. Now, well, it attempted to strafe. Pretty poorly, might we add. So something that I remember doing is like, if you do something like this, and you create like a little uh, boundary, and then you do something like that, you might get a bit more success. We'll see. Because this is only 400. But you don't want to fly the albatross over the island at 400. Like, that's a good way to get it shot up. It's interesting watching what the AI does. So I guess it's still trying to climb to 400 in the tight circle that I gave it. So I will observe this a little bit longer. And yeah, so the idea is that you go and knock over the islands one at a time. Um, and then you build up like a, a supply chain. So we'll be able to manufacture uh, hulls for aircraft from this island, which is pretty big, actually. One of the most, one of the strongest bits of kit is the Manta sort of like fast attack jet, but they nerfed it at release and took it off you. So that'll be cool to be able to control that early. All right, well, it looks like he's setting up his strafe now. Let's see what's going on, AI. Here he goes. Jesus, a few of them, they all just popped out, didn't they? Did he do any damage? Yeah, he might have done some damage. You're yeah, right. Cool. Um, might actually just jump on the carry gun from here, right? Because we did see a lot of dudes out there. Have I got flare control? I did unlock it, didn't I?
Oh, there you go. There's a dude out there that we couldn't really see. Yeah, there's, there's a whole stack of them. Yeah, no good. We'll have to use an albatross to really see what's going on there. Now, we've got him flowing pretty low altitude, but we'll see. That'll work out fairly well. Oh my god. Just wonder if we can just snake... Where do you go? Looked away for a little second and uh, away he goes. There he is. Bugger it. It's a waste of shells. Five shells on this one dude. But uh... We're taking a long time in this island. It's great, I'm taking my time just having a chat about it. It's no good. See how that goes. Wow, so much easier to drive these things now. Yeah, so it did a little bit of damage. Uh oh. Fuck it, let's go. Nice, okay, wow. These maneuvers I'm doing now, I don't know if anyone watching this is from the old days. You couldn't get away with this ever, not in a million years. All right, let's just get everything landed again. How are we doing for time? Well, we're pretty much up against it. So what we probably need to then do is land I haven't been checking the ship at all. Uh, the current hasn't changed direction, so we haven't been drifting into the shallows, which is good. And then what you can do is get an idea... Well, you can press escape, get an idea of where the enemy's at, and he's already captured his first island, but that's all right. They give you a run for their money. But yeah, carry command too. It's good to be looking at this again. Oh, there goes my little... Saw him out there. It's good to be looking at this again. They have patched some things so well. The barge system, still really early days. It's, you know, it's... What can we tell here? Waypoints. There you go. So you drag... Ah, uh, that's nice. That's perfect, actually. And then you can, you can... Yep, resupply. It's good. This is all just great news. Uh, a pretty great game marred by some pretty big problems, and they've taken some steps towards fixing a lot of them already. And that's really good. That's really awesome, actually. You know? Um, it's heartening for the future of the game. You know, they didn't abandon it on release, or they didn't bury their head in the sand, or pretend that the fans were being mean or anything. No, they've, they've taken responsibility, and they've fixed a lot of problems. And, uh, you know... It's, wor it's worth celebrating that, um, especially these days. Oh, maybe that's what the beep is, that something landed. I don't know. All right, team, that's enough from me. Let me know if you want to see some more. I'm quite happy to pick this back up. It's a great game. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.